What's happening in the British police force? The uh, historic traditional um, uh, status of the British police service, which is decentralized, there's no one police service mm. for the whole country. Um, but the ethos of policing in Britain um, is to be completely independent of political control um, and to uh, you know to to uh, to be bound by a professional ethic of policing, which is to prevent disorder and crime and to clear it up after it happens, with the emphasis on prevention. That's the most historic uh, uh, role of the, of the police. Now, in recent years, the police service across the country, uh, but particularly in the Metropolitan Police, has kind of fallen apart. Um, and it's no longer doing what people require it to do, which is the most basic thing of all, which is, you know, to stop my home being burgled and catch the people who've burgled it, um, uh, to stop crime and create, uh, to, to prevent disorder and to, uh, to administer the rule of law. Um, people are finding that the police just aren't there anymore, uh, while at the same time, the police have increasingly been, as it were, feeling people's collars for hate crime, having the wrong views. So uh, at the most extreme version, you know, you get an itinerant street preacher, an eccentric, the kind of guy who goes around with a placard saying the end is nigh, and he's preaching a verse from the Bible against homosexuality, and suddenly he's arrested and stuck into prison. Or, as has happen happened, he's surrounded by a crowd of angry public who then attack him and pour water over him or dirt on him and he's arrested because he's the person who's committed the crime and they haven't. So it's like, what's going on here? Um, and the reasons are many and various. Uh, part of it, I, I mean, I would, I've been following the police, policing in Britain for a very large number of years, several decades. And I would say a, demor a demoralization set in many, many, many years ago as a result of um, a whole string of miscarriages of justice, which were laid at the door of rotten policing. The policing was said to be rotten because they were all stupid. They were stupid because they weren't a university educated and because they came up through the ranks. And so you had this uh, infusion of university graduates and at the same time, the, the politicians said, we've actually got to be more, more interventionist. And so the police service started looking upwards to politicians as to getting their approval rather than downwards to the public whom they had to serve. And this set in train, I think, a cycle of demoralization, poor performance, rubbish stuff happening, um, and then more demoralization setting in. And then they were accused of institutional racism. Long story, I won't go into it now. I followed it very closely. There was zero evidence of this, zero. You only there have was, to make the accusation. Now. There was plenty of evidence of police yeah. incompetence, institutionalized incompetence, and also I thought evidence of corruption that was dismissed. Corruption, it wasn't even thought about. Institutional racism. And the police from that point became absolutely demoralized and have descended ever since. So it's a whole series of things going wrong. But, you know, this may sound fanciful, but I personally think, having looked at this for many years and having described to you very briefly the, the obvious markers in this horrible saga, which were visible to all to see, I think something else has happened. If you have a society which, in my view, no longer agrees what the boundaries are for moral behavior, how to behave well, uh, to you know, in all in all kinds of areas, um, the individual is what counts. Everybody else can go hang. Yeah. Um, Disorder is no longer disorder. Everything is disorderly. Um, there is no longer um, normative values. We can't have normative values. The very idea of normative values is considered to be itself bigoted because 
you are discriminating, therefore, being horrible towards, by definition, people who aren't the norm. So you can't have normative values. Well, if a society has no normative values and no boundaries, it no longer informally polices those boundaries. We used to have stigma. Stigma is now out. Stigma is being horrible to somebody. You can't have stigma. Well, stigma was the way we informally policed our behavior. Can't have stigma, no boundaries, no informal policing. Is it a coincidence that the police have collapsed? We don't have any boundaries anymore. How do we expect the police to police boundaries when we say the idea of normative boundaries is racist? It is, it is phobic or whatever. It's impossible. So we have the police service now, this, this, or the, the situation of the police or policing in Britain now perfectly reflects a society with no boundaries. Music